I'm just testing something out tonight. Hi, loves. <laughs> so I wanted to test out coming live. Hi, Carly. Um, so I don't know if, I think you guys, the mo most of you have been or, or joined my, um, the talk tarot with me. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> the talk tarot with me group. Um, if you have not joined and you want to click on the link in my bio and it will take you to the Facebook group. It is a Facebook group called Talk Tarot with me. Hi, loves. Um, part of the whole Talk Tarot with me um, group is to start. I want to start coming on live. And I want to start doing it at least once a week. And I want to have like fuzzy pillow talks with you guys. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of test that out because I just got done doing a couple um, readings for clients. Um, and I just have the time right now to do that while my husband's off in the corner working at my desk. So, um, I wanted to kind of do like fuzzy pillow talks to go with the talk tarot with me group. Um, so if you haven't joined talk tarot with me, it's on Facebook. Um, link is in my bio so you can join there so if you have a Facebook and you want to do it you could be a part of it it's cool um, but basically once a week I haven't decided on what day um, but once a week I plan on coming live or trying to once a week coming live and just kind of having um, just a nice fun session with you guys to talk we could talk tarot we could talk crystals we could talk whatever um, I will do some like free readings for you guys so I'll pull some cards um, we could talk decks so like we could do deck reviews um, oh the audio is quite low let me fix can you hear me now <laughs> um, we could do deck reviews we could do I don't know we could do a lot of different things um, but I just thought that I would kind of just give it a shot to see what you guys think. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of you won't be able to tune in, um, at certain times of the day because you guys are all from like all over the world. So I, what I could do is I could save the video and then you guys can look at it later. Um, but just, that's just kind of something I thought we could do. So how are you guys doing tonight? What's new? Did you guys have a good Wednesday? <laughs> I'm excited because um, Friday, I work tomorrow and Friday, and then I have the weekend off. So I'm like, yes, weekends. You love the idea? Thank you. <laughs> I want to make it like a, like a fun hangout. Have you guys heard of this deck, Sacred Power Reading Cards? I was using this one for um, a client reading and I was like admiring the artwork and how gorgeous this deck is. Oh, you've been having a rough life? No! <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Carly. Yeah, it's um, it's been a week too. It's been crazy, but I think it's like we're, it's preparing us for that lunar, um, the lunar eclipse that we have coming up at the end of the month. What deck do you think it's is out? What deck do you think it's out of this world? Mm, out of this world. Honestly, I don't think I have one. I I don't think I could pick just one that I think is that way. Um. Hi, Marcy. I think I have a bunch of decks that I just truly love. You guys have been having bad luck, yeah. Um, I think a lot of us have been having pretty bad weeks I should know but what sign is the lunar eclipse going to be in? I think it's going to be in Leo let me see I have a I have a uh, celestial guide <laughs> so it helps me keep track of like all that kind of stuff 
so the lunar eclipse it's going to be in leo yeah full moon in leo and leo is crazy energy it's a lot of confidence it is a lot of like rawr. <laughs> You've been feeling some crazy energy today. I went out and did some retail therapy. Oh my gosh, I did that too. I did that yesterday. Um, yesterday was my day off and I went to Ross and I bought like some shirts and the candles, which are way over there, but I bought some candles. I got some, <laughs> some diamond water. <laughs> That's how you know, like I just was just spending money because I didn't really need to. You got in a car accident, which is out of a car divorce. Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. Crazy. Yeah, that's, um, <coughs> that is no joke, car accidents. No. Oh, man. But um, <coughs> I'm trying to teach myself how to knit. <laughs> it's going well, but I'm looking for new hobbies to keep me relaxed. Oh, knitting. I don't have patience for that, but good for you. Are you knitting like a scarf or anything? Or what are you, what are you trying to knit? I don't even think I have... <clears throat> it's funny because when I started my tarot journey, um, I'm going to, for a scarf. Yay! Well, good luck to you. Um, when I started my tarot journey, tarot was my hobby. Um, but now that it's like what I do for a job, um, I had to find like other outlets to keep me like into, you know, to keep me happy. And I've been doing like more astrology study. And I've been trying to like focus more on the moon and like the signs that the moon goes in and that kind of thing. But when you start like when you start a little business out of what your was once your hobby, you have to kind of find other things. I pulled a two of wands in regards to this new guy in my life. Ooh. Two of wands. He keeps giving me mixed signals. It could be that, like he's like this and that. <laughs> It could also say the two of wands might be urging you to make a decision. Um, like making a choice. Is he worth your time or not? That kind of thing. What are you guys up to? I could pull some cards. Should I pull some cards for you guys? <clears throat> yeah, you should definitely look into astrology. You know, it's complicated. There's a lot of pieces to it, but it's also really fun. Seven of Swords has been following me, so I'm trying to shake things up a bit. Seven of Swords is... um. I mean, it could be a lot of different energies. It could be maybe someone's keeping something from you. It could be secrets, um, gossip, or maybe you are trying to keep something from someone else. I finished up a costume for a convention that I, ooh, I may be partially covered in paint. <sighs> so artistic. I met my twin flame and my life has been completely flipped around. What? I'm totally working out. I'm watching right now with you. Oh, thanks, Flo. George is, um, he's studying, he's working on his reviews and stuff for his staff members, <laughs> but he's here in the other, he's here in the room, he's just in the other side. Hello there. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> what, what is this? It's Instagram Live. Oh, hello Instagram. <laughs> he's working on, he's working at my desk, I was being nice. I'm not nice. at work today, but I'm working. <laughs> He's not, he's not at work, but he's working. <laughs> I 
I'm being a nice wife and I'm letting him use my desk. So that's why I'm like huddled over here in the bed. <clears throat> Hi, Crystal. Hi, Ms. Andrews. I also pulled the death card this year. I got the death card this year. You know what? I got something. Flo says hi. <laughs> Pull a card for me and see what people think. Pull a card for who? For you? Yeah. That's up here. I'll pull a card for my hubby first, and then I'll start pulling cards for you guys. So let's see. And then let's see what, what the test people when we feel. So I pulled for you, bubs. Angel assistance. Oh, that's what I need right now. So I pulled this for my husband, Angel Assistance. Angel Assistance is totally something that he needs more of because my husband likes to try to control everything. Um, he's a Taurus, and Taurus energy is very stubborn, um, and he likes to control everything. So Angel Assistance, I feel for you, bubs, is saying, like, you got to trust in the divine and trust that um, things are going to, if it's meant to be, it's going to be. Um, things will happen as it's meant to happen. And, you know, I hate saying it like pray on it, but maybe say a prayer or asking your, your guides or whoever is around you to help you. <laughs> Let's see. Who wants to go first? Crystal? Let's see, Crystal. Let's pull for you. For It's Crystal. We got self-love so self-love is asking you focusing on you I also love how the image shows um, a younger version of the person so self-love I feel for you is tapping into your childhood self your young version of you what were the things that you enjoyed when you were a little girl that kind of stuff devour those moments um, watching your favorite childhood movie, eating your favorite childhood food, um, you know, painting your nails crazy, like something like that. Self-love. Let's do... Let's see if I can... Okay. For Grim Geest... I'm just gonna go by your usernames instead of names because I don't remember everybody's name. <laughs> so Grim Geest, we have Abundance, ooh. So Abundance is coming forward for you. This is kind of showing there's gonna be a lot of good things taking place, especially with this lunar eclipse happening. Um, I feel like Abundance is gonna show that shift. Um, good things are gonna come your way. Good things are gonna start happening. Maybe focus on that as an intention for this coming full moon. Focus on the abundance. Don't be afraid to ask for something good. Um, just know that you deserve it. That kind of thing. Chicken Nuggets and email. <laughs> that is such a cute username. Chicken Nuggets and email. Let's see. We have retreat. So you got retreat. This is asking you to kind of go to your happy place. This is asking you to take time for yourself. Focus um, inward. Take a break. Take a breather. Take a day off. Retreat inward. Read your favorite book. Listen to some music. Watch TV, Netflix. Um, do a day. If you can do a full day that is just devoted to you, um, you need a break in your energy. <clears throat> Luke, Tree of Life. Luke tree of life you got angel assistance as well so are you hesitant in allowing help to come to you are you hesitant of letting um, or asking for help that kind of thing they want to help you they're around you hi Patricia <laughs> okay let's do Raquel I'm just gonna go in order as I see. So Raquel, you got manifestation. So um, I'm gonna be talking in terms of the full moon coming up because it's only gonna be, it's like in a week or two, a week. 
manifestation is really start thinking, make a list of the things that you want to manifest in your life. Um, because this energy of this full moon is confidence. So um, don't be afraid to ask for what it is you really want and be very specific. Ms. Andrews. Oh, that's funny. Um, great spirit light medicine. You are the opposite of me and my husband. So I am the Pisces and my husband is the Taurus. <laughs> Okay, so for Ms. Andrews, we have compassion. Girl, <laughs> compassion is saying, I feel like this is you maybe toning it down a little bit. So um, for you, maybe your energy lately has been very like, bam, like you're like in, in people's faces. Um, I think compassion is kind of saying like, tone it down a little bit, be a little bit more soft to some people. Um, you may have already encountered maybe somebody read you the wrong way or they misinterpreted something you said or maybe you often have that happen where like your attitude people misread you and they think that you are a bitch <laughs> but you really don't mean to be um, so I feel like compassion is kind of saying like tone it down a little bit um, and people will really like learn to work with that and you know that kind of thing so that would be interesting let me know if that was accurate um anna for holy free holy <laughs> free holy <laughs> so anna let's see let's pull this one. Ooh, tree of life um when i think of tree of life i think of like that whole story of like adam and eve what is your storybook what does the tree of life say about you? Where did it begin? Ancestry work. Maybe this is connecting with spirit. Um, finding your roots. Learning more about yourself. Learning more about, you know, your family role. I feel like this is more ancestry. Someone's reaching out to you in that way. Let's do Asan, Asani. I'm sorry, I can't read. 87? <laughs> sorry, girl. Let's see. Angel assistance. This one is very urgent. The angels are really, like, um, urgent tonight. Saying, like, we are here to help you. <laughs> whether you follow the angels, whether you work with angels or not, this could also be symbols for spirit. Your guides, um, they want you to talk to them reach out to them I feel like for you um, when you're out in nature they are most vibrant in your mind they are really connecting with you when you're out in nature that's the best time for you to connect with spirit for you personally I feel um, when you're outside um, and you have that fresh air and that breeze that is a really good time for you to connect with your spirit guides so I would recommend doing that I feel like for you <clears throat> Um, like trying to do the whole like quiet the, in the room and meditating to connect with your guides doesn't work with you I feel like you need to be more like physically doing an activity but you're at peace so I, I do feel like an outdoorsy activity for you but like being outside nature it helps you connect with your guides more let's do whoops Alexis I don't think I read for you yet I've been rereading a love reading I got from you and it's definitely starting to come true. <laughs> I'm an Aries with a Sagittarius moon and he's a Pisces with a Scorpio moon, so it's interesting. Ooh, I'm glad to hear that um, that you have been seeing the, you know, the positive things from the reading that you got. So Alexis, let's pull for you. Alexis, you got personal power. Um, personal power, Alexis, I feel is like really guiding you to trust in yourself more. You are very courageous and I really feel like this is going to align with you <clears throat> this full moon with Leo. You're really going to start coming out of your shell more. Um, I feel like personal power is like asking you to step into yourself. Don't be afraid to, um, put your foot forward and speak up for yourself. Stand up for yourself more. I think you're a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. Um, and I feel like 
just the energy surge of the new the full moon in leo the end of this this month it's going to be big for you so if you have been like anticipating having a conversation with someone or maybe you have like a maybe you know just something where you you need to kind of voice yourself that that end of this month is going to be big for you to do that Patricia let's do one for you girl Patricia I miss you I miss our sushi dates Ooh, Patricia you got energy balance girl this is telling you all of your little energy centers all of your chakras you need to be focusing on balancing all of them um, and I know this for a fact that you tend to, you'll focus maybe on one or two and then the other ones kind of get ignored. This is a time for you to balance all of them. Spiritual, um, your, you know, your third eye, your heart, your, and groundingness. I feel like you're very grounded, um, but I feel more of like your spirituality, those chakras. So the, the third, the, the crown, your third eye and your throat most, most likely like the top three right here. You need to focus on those more. Let's see. Nicole Lindy Art. Are you in here? Can I have it? Okay, so I'll just go in order. So Nicole Lindy Art, let's do one for you. Manifestation. So Nicole, this is about um, manifesting. What do you want start thinking um especially for like i said the full moon we're going to talk we're focusing on that because that's what's coming up um so for the full moon let this be your homework take a note piece of note paper and a candle um i don't have a candle around me or you can use a crystal so if you have like a crystal write down your manifestations and i would say pick maybe two or three that you really things that you want things that you want to manifest um, whether it's more money, more clients, um, to lose a couple extra pounds, to be more mindful, whatever, whatever it is you want to manifest more in your life, more friends, <laughs> um, place it under your crystal and charge it under the full moon, or you can put it underneath a candle and light it the night of the full moon, which is the 31st of January. <laughs> Daydream beads. Angela, let's do a card for you, girl. Truth. Oh. Now, this can go two ways. Truth can be you will be expressing yourself to somebody. You will have like that, the tongue of, of armor where you're going to be like spitting out truth to other people. That could go with the surge of the full moon in Leo. You'll, you'll have that confidence boost to say what you really feel. Or it could be get ready for people to actually start spitting out the truth to you. Uh, maybe you'll have already been experiencing people um, telling you like it is. People being brutally honest. I think you need more of that in your life. I think you need more people who are genuine around you. I feel the vibe of... Um, you have a lot of like fake friends and I don't mean to be, you know, mean or too forward with you, but I feel like you have a lot of people who kind of bullshit you. Um, and I think that a lot of that is going to start coming out more, um, especially into February. Um, but I feel like truth is really guiding you to say like, be honest with yourself and express yourself. Don't be afraid to say what's on your mind, but also be ready to hear it. So that's for you, uh, Daydream. And Luca did one. Raquel, I did one. Ocean Sanctum. Ocean Soul Sanctum. Hi, love. Let's do one for you. Hopefully you're still in here. <laughs> so Ocean Soul. Ooh, you also got energy balance. So if you're still in here... Um, energy balance, like I said, it's focusing on balancing all of your energies. I think you are in for a big cleanse. I don't know if you've been doing them or if it's been a while since you've had a big cleanse, but um, before this month is over, I recommend you do a huge energy cleanse on yourself. 
Let's do the Starseed Oracle. Girl, are you in here? Astra. Let's pull one for you. Ooh. <laughs> so Astra, you got intuition. You are on it. This is your time. Um, intuition popping up. One is trusting your intuition. So trusting that second, that sixth sense that you have. Um, I also feel like intuition is popping up because this, this full moon that's going to ha be happening. Bam. So if you have any readings that are coming up that you're doing for clients, um, you're going to be on top of it. Definitely. Ms. Andrew said that was pretty accurate and very blunt. And sometimes I don't realize what I'm saying in the tone that I'm saying it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Emerald Angel, if you're in here still, let's pull one for you. I don't think I did one for you. Emerald Angel, Lightning. So, <sighs> Lightning, I feel, is um, it's going to be like that aha moment. I have the feeling this is like a, the Tower card um, in the Tarot. I feel like Lightning is um, going to be something big. This is either a turn of events popping up for you that's going to be taking place. This is not something to fear because a lot of times when the tower energy is, is, is popping up for you in your life, it is kind of like it's something big that happens, but it has to happen for you to move, for you to grow. Okay. So it's, you're going to get like, prepare yourself to get ready for a big shift. Um, sometimes these lightning moments aren't the best sometimes it could be like a trip you know you trip up a little bit but it helps you grow so keep that in mind okay just prepare yourself so that was for emerald oh, miss stacy lynn let's do you miss stacy lynn abundance so you got abundance um, this is a good thing. The end of this month, like I said, full moon energy, because that's what we're reading about. Um, your focus is abundance. This is, I feel like this is more saying rather than giving it, you're going to be receiving it, but also be willing to receive it. I feel like sometimes you, you, you make yourself feel like I don't deserve it or I am not worthy of it. You are and allow yourself to receive it. So that's for Miss Stacy Lynn. You're welcome, you guys. It's 11, 11 where you are. Good. What time is it for us? It's only 9 20. You've been out in nature. Yeah, you have been girl. That's why I said that too. It's good for you. What deck is this? It's so beautiful. So the deck that I'm using is the sacred power reading cards. I pulled it out for a client reading earlier and I was like, Oh, I'll just read some, I'll do some readings for you guys. <laughs> Hi Rosie. I'm just reading all the comments that I didn't get to see. Carly, are you there? Are you still in there? <laughs> so I'll read for Carly and then I'll read for Rosie. Carly, unconditional love. This is, um, this is, it, like I said, unconditional love can be like going both ways. This is you receiving receiving the unconditional love which i feel is more from your from your spirit realm like your your guides your your spiritual army that's around you i also feel like it's kind of accepting yourself i don't know that's like the vibe i'm feeling with that accepting yourself accepting your faults your flaws learning to embrace it um knowing that that's you for who you are and also i feel you you deserve love um, because I know you're you're all about like dating and stuff right now. You need somebody who is going to give you that kind of unconditional love. Um, that's how you know that they're a keeper. Okay, Carly? <laughs> Rosie. Let's see for Rosie. Rosie, you got Animal Kingdom. So um, I see this representing animal guides that surround you. If you have a favorite animal that you've had like let's say you've let's this is example but let's say you've um you've loved cats all of your life that would be like a sign of 
that's a guide that's around you. It is an animal that you feel so connected with. Um, so for me, you know, I've always felt connected to whales and fish um, and cats too, but whales definitely. So I feel like with the animal kingdom, it's kind of reaching out to your animal guides and paying attention to the animals that you're noticing a lot. This happens a lot with like birds. If you're noticing birds or crows or butterflies or if there's a specific animal you've been seeing a lot everywhere, really like do research on it. See what it means because it's usually a sign. Patricia, can I have a tarot card too? Tarot for the soul. Tarot for the soul. Hopefully you're still in here. <laughs> community. So I feel like community is um, telling you, reaching out more, socialize. I don't know if you have, like for me, the theme this week was really socializing more. I was having like a kind of a low where I was feeling lonely and wanting friends. So I created a Facebook group and I have definitely been socializing with a lot more of you guys. So I feel like for you, community is big. Maybe this is reaching out, um, calling up that friend and hanging out, that kind of thing. Make it a goal. You're welcome, you guys. <laughs> Zient, Zient. Not sure how to pronounce that, but yeah, I'll pull one for you. So Zian, do you got medicine? Medicine is, is big. I think that this is kind of um, asking you to take care of yourself more. Taking care of yourself in different ways, whether this is physical food, physical food, <laughs> physical activity, like exercise, or the medicine of um, like food, changing your diet. This can be also spiritual medicine. Maybe you need more like quiet meditation time. Maybe you need to surround yourself with, you know, crystals and do crystal healing. There's some, like with medicine, it's usually an indication that you are lacking something. Especially if you've been feeling energetically drained. It's always a sign of that. Sierra, you all, <laughs> Medicine also flew out for you too. So again, for you guys, if um, if you're feeling kind of like, I think like the theme is feeling just slow, tired, exhausted, um, physical pains, but usually it's like exhausted, headaches, um, irritability. If you're feeling all of that, you know, it's time for a cleanse. It's time for you time. Um, crystal healing is a big one. Um, drinking, you know, your water, that kind of stuff, you know, like typical things, but medicine I feel is coming up because it's some of us, we are always go, go, go. And we forget to take time for ourselves and to slow down. Patricia or Patricia says hi, bubs. Hello, Patricia. <laughs> You're welcome, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Hi, Holly. Hey girl. Hey Katie. Okay, Holly and Katie. I don't know if you guys are still in here, but um Holly, I'll read for you and then Katie I'll do you next. Sierra says I had a headache yesterday and today. Yep. If you if you're feeling the headaches, um a tip for me for me to you is <laughs> I have my crystals all right here. Um put one on your forehead. And usually if it's a point, put it upward or out like that and just kind of like breathe do your breathing exercises and like imagine like the pain being like absorbed out of the crystal okay let's do who was i reading holly <laughs> holly and then katie so holly energy balance holly so this one has been coming up a lot for you guys too. Um, so like I was saying, energy balance is focusing on all of your energy points. So all seven of your chakras. Meditating. YouTube is perfect for that. You can do a chakra balance meditation on YouTube. Highly recommend that. Um, energy balance is also, like I said, we were just talking about the medicine card. If you're not feeling good, you're feeling a little off. 
a cleanse is important. And we should be doing that at least once a month, if that, like more for those of us who are reading for people, but um, at least once a month. Okay, Katie, this is for you. Katie, <laughs> Katie got retreat. Girl, you've been planning a retreat, haven't you? <laughs> So definitely with the retreat card, um, obviously I know you've been planning a retreat. Yeah. So this is popping up. This is definitely going to be manifesting. It's going to be happening. Um, but I also feel like the retreat is you're going to need a retreat after the retreat. So make sure you're planning some downtime for you to come off of the high that you will be having and experiencing from your retreat. So definitely make sure you have a retreat from your retreat. <laughs> And then for Mona, Monet, I never know if it's Mona or Monet. Hi, girl. Let me do one for you. Thank you, Katie. Love you, too. Okay, Mona, we got sound. Now, sound is you're, you're working with your throat chakra. Sound can be sing, singing, expressing yourself, talking, um, mostly singing. And I think it's like, that's like a really good way, Monet. I think that's a really good way for you to express and let things out. Um, especially when you're frustrated. Singing is a big one for you, I feel. Um, and talking, communicating. So maybe like meeting up with that one friend that you can just have like the chat and laugh. I feel like the sound, that's what, that's, that's what that means. For you to like express and let it out. Some way locally that will help you. To release some frustrations or you know release some of your thoughts and feelings that kind of thing I think I read for everybody I'm surprised it didn't kick me off this thing usually it's like for an hour <laughs> okay so let's just pull one last card for like the overall energy of this coming full moon and then I'm gonna get off this thing because I think it's almost been an hour so the overall energy for this full moon, we have <laughs> we have angel assistance. So the angels just want to say they're letting you know we're here, we're here. Reach out to us, your guides, your angels, your um, whoever, whatever you connect with. Um, don't forget that they're there. Give them a heads up. Say hello to them. Um, and understand that sometimes we want to be be in control of everything, but sometimes we're not. And unfortunately, you know, when they feel like they need to step in, they will. Okay? So thanks, you guys, for watching. Like I said, this is going to be hopefully a once-a-week thing where I will pop in and we can talk. We'll pull some cards. Yeah, it did pop up a lot. We'll pull cards. Maybe we'll do a deck review. It's just going to be like, like I said, that fuzzy pillow chit chat kind of thing like a hangout um but once a week i haven't decided what week what day of the week i'm going to do this but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will make a replay so you guys can catch it later and anyways i will see you guys later